Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Going Medieval Episode 4, which originally aired live on Twitter. Come on, Rob, where are you? Playing backgammon? Isn't that weird that you could just, you know, depending on the Z level, X ray people? Oh, he's eating. Nope. Yes. Okay, there we go. Please don't dig up any clay. For the love of God, do not dig up any clay. No, it's gray. Gray's going to dig up clay. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, so here we go. Uh, clay stairs. All the way down. And great. Just stand there. I don't trust you here. Or make the clay stairs. I don't trust her not to dig up material and plop it where I don't want it. No, Rob, don't, no. Build the stairs. Thank you. Oh, thank God. All right, we're good. We have clay stairs. And now we have a start of a root cellar. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill the rest of this garbage up with clay. Because I didn't want it dug in the first place. And clay is the best insulating material. Uh, Rob, you shouldn't be mining. And now you're not. Good. Once this is done, I'll work on the defenses and then I'll pull you all for the location of the bedroom because I think that will be the next priority. I think you all made pretty clear. So it got done. So now deep in the bowels of our structure, we have, nah, -uh, Rob, finish. Thank you. We have what will become a lovely and functional um, cellar. Actually, from the looks of it, I'm putting my staircase in the wrong spot, so let me fix that. Now that we have access up and down, that shouldn't be much of a problem. Hey, Bash. How are you doing, Bash? Thanks for the resub. All 17 months of it. Hardest battle was making the cellar stairs. Yes, it was. But we're over that hurdle. And we're on to bigger, brighter, better things. I... I I can't truly promise, but I do expect. So I'm not going to fill this in here, just in case we do want to have um, cellar bedrooms. I'll leave that as a possible option. And then I'm going to put clay stairs here and a door here. I could have it be a storage room too. Yeah, there's a lot of options for it, certainly.
Okay, so you can see how uh, it's going to be a root cellar. And uh, as soon as we finish these walls here, uh, you know, we'll, you'll be able to tell its measurable benefits of how cold it is down here as soon as this, uh, this stuff gets built. In fact, Rob, why are you digging mine over construct? Your construct is higher. And I, I left this pillar here as a uh, roof support. It's going to be much colder than 52. I can assure you that. I think. I mean, we are in the middle of summer. It's day eight in the summer, so maybe it won't be. Outside, it is 66. And in here, it's 31. It's below freezing in this room now. Yeah! It was worth it. Yeah, it's actually below freezing. And uh, as one could imagine, any food stored down here is going to be sufficiently cold. That means that we're heading towards being able to uh, build the defenses, which is far more sexy than a root cellar. But trust me, a root cellar is necessary if you don't want to be fighting uh, food spoiling for, like, ever. Which sucks. And that way I can also start to hoard food. And uh, I have a place to put it. Waffle Fortress, thanks for the resub as well. I like how these this clothing has been decaying. I, I really do need a, a crafting room as well. <sighs> All in due time, right, buddy? Right, buddy? The cellar is going to be a variable temperature depending on ambient. So right now it's just below freezing. But if it was hot out, it would still be like 45 Fahrenheit. But that's like refrigerator temperature. You know, that's it's cold enough to provide a benefit to prevent food from spoiling. Yeah, it's 34 out. 34 in there now. If we went even lower, it'd be better, but um, diminishing returns for sure. So this is as low as I think I'm going to go. I think there might be an insulation benefit of lining all the walls with clay, but I'll work on that later if we feel the need. Okay, there we go. So with that done, the next big project is going to be making uh, limestone blocks. Or actually, you know what? What material should I build my wall out of? Wood, clay, limestone, uh, clay blocks, or limestone blocks. I think limestone blocks are the toughest, uh, but you can vote. Votes for what you want. And then the other thing I need to do down here is this stockpile here is going to be for herbs, healing kits, vinegar, um, and then raw food and carcasses. We'll store the carcasses down there too. So then all the other stockpiles of that stuff, I need to remove. This stockpile is going to go entirely. And yeah, we're going to st store all of our food down there. And yeah, as you can see, these herb piles aren't going to decay for a month. Uh, the barley piles for a month. The cabbage for... It came in at nine days and then it's like going up and up and up. Oh, now it won't even decay at all. 
you know, zero decay. The meat won't decay either because it's cold enough in there that uh, it's keeping it frozen or refrigerated. Floors are bugged right now and they add temperature to the cellar rooms. Uh, it's good to know, but things will decay without floors. So it's uh, it's uh, needed anyway. Because things will also decay due to floor type. I was repeating what someone else said. Whether they're right or not, if uh, things aren't on a floor, here I'll demonstrate that. So here's items that are not on a floor decaying because of ground type. Natural grounds will cause things to decay as well. So uh, you guys want limestone block castle-like walls. So let's uh, continue mining up limestone. That's going to be uh, necessary. Some mountain shaving. Got it. Cool. So we've dramatically increased the, uh, like, two years for the herb pile. Beautiful. And we're in the middle of, uh, we're in the middle of summer. So as you can imagine, in the autumn and winters, that will provide even more benefit. All right, let's go kill something to celebrate. Hey, you. I'm going to shoot you. So for blocks, I'm probably going to pause just a second and limestone blocks. So let me update my current project. I'm just going to call entrance gate. I'm going to pause. Hmm. I'm trying to make it symmetrical for the benefit of everyone that would care about that. So the idea is to have my archers on a wall overlooking the entrance and then having a door here at the entrance that is tough to get through so that the people trying to come in get shot to hell while trying to batter my door down. And this will be the only point of entrance that uh, any and every enemy will have access to. So they come in and, you know, they're basically just forced. It's a kill box. Yeah, it's a kill box. Uh, I might want a deeper kill box, though. No, I mean, it's rather catchy. Yeah, I know. Um, this this could work. And then one, one of the added benefits is um, that I can have bedrooms here as well. For the combat-oriented gate guards or something. So these two can be bedrooms. They're, they're small. I'll make them a little larger. Bedrooms don't need to be large. The, uh, the characters in this game don't yet care about how big their bedrooms are. Um, so these bedrooms will have windows. And yes, I'm deciding this without you all voting. And doors. There we go. And then uh, here we'll do limestone block stairs. Uh, up. Uh, so, well, well, we'll start this for now. Limestone block floor. Actually, let's do wood floor. It's a little bit homier. And, you know, affordable. So we'll get that for now. And then we're also going to need um, iron ingots to build the uh, to build the, uh, the, the gate. So I'm going to mine up iron. And in fact, I'm going to Try to only have exactly what I want mined. Of course, right when I do the... Uh, well, okay, the stew rotting in the stockpile. Uh-oh. So the... <laughs> the lack of uh, support temporarily has caused a cave-in. 
my grand hall looking a bit less than. Okay. Catastrophe, yeah. So here what I'll do is uh, add some supports. I'll put a support beam here and a support beam here. And I can actually just put a, a pillar in the center of this room to support the floors as well. In fact, I don't even think I need the support beams if I do a center pillar. Cancel. Cancel. All right, Rob, you got more work. I made more work for you. You have to rebuild the, uh, <laughs> rebuild everything. Uh, Gray, you are going to go back to research. Full-time research. All right, Rob, I'm probably going to have to force you to build this. Uh, let's make this wood to match the rest of the uh, facility, though. I can also put torches on it to illuminate workspaces. So it's kind of a nice thing to have. And he fails at... What, what level are you, man? What level are you that you failed this? You are level 23... Yeah, yeah, and you failed? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, so now that there's the support there, uh, the stability for this facility should be a little higher. Still complaining, though. It's as if these, um... Oh, you know what it is? I think, no, the root cellar isn't propagating that. Uh, here, I will fill this in. This is obviously the problem. All right, research available. Let's get uh, wooden weaponry. I don't think I need a pull for that. Ooh, you're going fast. And that's Rasip doing it. Rob, are you getting shown up as a uh, constructor here? Yeah, Rasip didn't fail. It's embarrassing. Don't look. Who should be mining, though? Rob should be mining. Or Gray. Alright, Rob. You want to inherit being a miner, then? Yeah, we don't have much of a dining room at the moment. We'll be fixed. I think it's these here that need to get filled in most of all. But I'm going to fill them all in because I don't really want the ceiling collapsing on me. So the, the problem here, well, another way to fill this in, another way to fix this would be wooden beams like this that add support to structures that are above. Um, but because I don't think I'm going to be using this area and I don't need to try to you know, re-support it. Uh, I'm just going to fill it in like that. But that's what these wooden beams are for. So if I put a wooden beam there, it will have significant benefit. And that will support everything above. So now we're trying to mine away the uh, iron veins. And that will give us access to have more iron to be able to smelt. But 
I'm gonna have Rob try to fix the Great Hall. The loss of the Great Hall is sad. So that will be his task for tomorrow. I also don't have a lot to drink anymore. My booze. I have, uh, how much barley do I have? Where is my barley? 13? I only have 13 barley? Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna be able to have barley drinks. So there's uh, Rob building this uh, this lovely little guard bedroom, I guess is what you could call it. Almost done, too. Now, on the roof of these guard bedrooms, I think what I'll do is I'll do block stairs on either side like this. I don't have enough limestone for that. And then we will put uh, limestone block floors on top. So that our archers can stand somewhere. Ooh. These trees are mature. Alright, research is available. Brick making. I'm going to hold out for something else. Alright, looks like uh, my limestone block count is now my bottleneck. Look at you spilling your uh, books everywhere. You're making a mess. Yeah, wooden windows. I could fix that. It's funny because he literally just finished making one. Not that I have the limestone for it, but we will eventually. All right, now that you're out of limestone... Okay, so we do have the support beam built now. And that... Might be helping to keep... Yep, there it is. The roof on. Come on, snap. There we go. Uh, the books aren't permanent fixtures. I can always move them around and will uh, once, you know, I've got a larger research spot. But it is so low priority, I don't really care, too. All that really matters is that they exist. And that gives me research. They don't need to be in good quality or anything like that. And if they decay, you just make right up a new one. So there are some that are decomposing here, but they won't decompose for 16 more days. So I have plenty of time to move them about. And then in here, the herb piles should actually get moved out. So let's remove the herb piles because they're going to go into our uh, cellar. And that should make some room. And then the the rest of the leather, I can plop somewhere else. You know, I'll, I'll, when it matters, I'll add some storage space. But working on one project at a time. There we go. I might need a save and load to recalculate the um, the support here, because this here should be supported and it's not registered as supported. There we go. Rob, build it. Come on, Rob. Yes.
almost done repairing our wounded uh, Great Hall. Alright, so it doesn't want to... Sorry, Torch. It doesn't want to put those back in. Let me save real quick and load. I'm sort of... Um, curious if... Uh, it's just a recalculating thing. So, we'll check for real. It's funny, it just registers as a kitchen because there's nothing in this room that would stop it from being a kitchen. Yeah, it was a, it was just a save and load thing. As you can see, I can put the floors there, no problem now. Sort of uh, what I expected. Because they're honestly massively oversupported. But hey. Eh. Alright, Rob, finish that up. Or recipe, don't care which. The supports do look cool, yeah. If we scroll down, as you can see, here, let me try to peer into the um, into the kitchen area. Oh, I'm staring at the floor now. It's kind of hard to, it's hard to see. Oh, all these trees are now mature, too. I don't need all that wood yet, so I'm going to leave them alone for now. Okay, so we should have a great hall. It doesn't think it's a separate room right now. I don't... Uh, I might need to delete and rebuild this door. Again, game's a little buggy. So, you'll run into a little bugs here or there. Because this should be a great hall. It meets all the requirements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight banners, four torches, six chairs, and a table. So I think in the process of building the defenses, I'm going to need to build a crafting hall uh, to speed up the process of uh, stone cutting and brick making. God, that is a messy library. I had hoped to turn this into like a bit of a library tower. So let's, let's do that. Let's work on a crafting building. So I'm going to cancel the constructions out here. And it's autumn. And remove this little hill here so they can build a crafting building where all this gravel is. There we go. Great hall. Yeah, all I had to do is delete the door and add it back in. It's kind of funny. But done. That should improve moods. And now they're going to chip away at this hill here. And I'll turn it into a crafting room. One of the net benefits is we're going to get some limestone popping out of this. So, you know what, Sparaxis? I'm going to make you my crafter. So now he's going to make the blocks that goes to the entrance and as you can see, it temporarily goes blue when I have blocks available. Yeah, people are happy with that meat haul. So this was what it looks like from bird's eye. It's humble, but uh, I'll work on, on trying to uh, get it 
get it moving faster. So entrance gate and crafting. I'm just going to call it ant crafting. So crafting building, I think my initial crafting building is going to be... Hey, Dem Tacos. Welcome. I was playing RimWorld. Welcome, RimWorlders. This is like 3D RimWorld. <laughs> you better not fail, Rasip. That's a lot of blocks. Oh, I saw some fails. Okay, Rob's on the uh, staircase now. That's good. Staircase is done. It's gonna look nice. More research available. Hmm. For my entryway, there's two different... So let me cancel this. I don't think I actually get the resources back, which is a little strange, but... Um, so for the entry doors, there's the reinforced door at 500 hit points, and then there's the gated, uh, graded door. I'm going to do the reinforced door. I'm going to switch it up. Barking up the wrong tree. He was focused... Ah, uh, focused. He was found faint and bleeding by a citizen of Yodaville. From the axe and shatter lumber, Uthrid had clearly experienced a wood-cutting mishap. Would you let him stay and heal? Um, all right. You'll be pulled. And Uthrid here is a constructor. He's a reckless master builder, so that explains his injuries. Um, he's basically a pagan, not a re real religious affiliation. Good at melee, good at cooking. Well, passionate at cooking, sucks at it. Um, very smart. He has, uh, so he is a, he's cold hardy, likes the sun, but is a little delicate. He likes to be comfortable. Uh, yep. And mining, construction, and overwhelmingly you all say yes, so we're going to welcome him. Oh, wow, he is not even conscious. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, uh, jobs. This calls for Spraxis. I think he Spraxis is already doing that. Yeah, Spraxis is already carrying him to a bed. I also already have a spare bed. And uh, you guys are going to be... I'm going to raffle him off, let's say, in three minutes. So if you'd like Uthrid... Uthrid the Unconscious, uh, just type something in the chat. But he did come with a good iron hatchet. And he's also going to be named Unnamed. And Rasip just turned 24. Happy birthday, Rasip. Where is Spraxis? Ah, oh, there he is. No, 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 no. Don't go to sleep. Tend his wound. There we go. All right, let's actually check his wounds. What are your wounds? Uh, deep arm laceration for a loss of some motor function and bad enough that makes you unconscious. Oof. All right, so unnamed, you're going to rest, but your priorities will be mining, construction, and cooking and research. Can they bleed out? Yeah, yeah, you can bleed out. I mean, don't. It would suck, but yes. <laughs> You're able. All right, so I have him just set to bed rest. And one more minute, I'm going to assign him to one of you all. We also have a... Uh, we have a bedroom here that's uh, free to be used. So, here we go. Uh, let's put a bed in it. Like that. 
and then we are going to delete one of these hay sleeping spots there's no such thing as assigned beds i don't think so you just need to have all of the same sort of quality beds that counts Wow, Spraxis, you are making those blocks, aren't you? All right, so here's the hay bed. And good luck. It rolls to Ares Gobra. All right, Ares. I'm going to name him Ares, but if you want to change the name, just let me know. And there's the bedroom. So if we take a look at V... V is the sort of dedicated rooms. We have a kitchen, we have a great hall, and we have one bedroom. This isn't even a shared bedroom because of the research bench, so I, sh I need to be phasing that out uh, fast. But I, I first, because you all voted on it, I want to get um, defensive perimeters here. So then what I'm going to do up here is let's get uh, limestone... No, limestone brick corner... And then second up as a uh, archer perch. We'll have the height advantage and we will shoot anyone coming in our entry. Research available. Not going to do it not yet. Okay. I'm going to start mining the uh, iron so that we can start smelting it. Marauder's getting rid of the rest of that hill. And we are building the other bedroom on the other side. How far can you deep down? Uh, dig down? Not that deep. Pretty shallow. It is 41 Fahrenheit in there. Cool. Crow! Hey! Thanks for the resub. Hope you're enjoying. All right, we're almost done removing this little hill here. Almost. I'll get brick making. Might as well. And here is the other tower. So... It's not quite done yet, but we do technically have a full wall. Well, not quite. But we're almost to the point where we're going to have a technically full wall, but I'd rather have it be brick. So if you take a look, the hit points of these limestone blocks, 800 versus wood at 80. So it's uh, 10 times stronger. And then the cover effectiveness of these Merlins is 55%, which means 55% of the missiles incoming will be blocked by it. Um... But outgoing missiles don't get blocked. So, good shooting. Not quite a true tower, but this is iteration one of it. You know, we'll, we'll make it more complicated eventually. And there we go. This is the stupid hill. Uh, it's almost removed. Who has the bedroom? No, uh, it'll be Rasip, I guess. Process elimination. I like how everybody else took crummy beds and he's just like, yeah, I'll have my own bedroom. So he's going to have a little bit of a mood buff having his own unique bedroom. Jazz, thanks for the follow and welcome. Now, I still don't have anyone that does any tailoring, which is a bit of an issue. But a lot of our original guys were um, erudite. So here we go. Uh, slept in own quarters plus eight. And Ares is now uh, ambulatory. Walking around and alive. So that's good. Marauder and Spraxis are grabbing iron nuggets to be able to smelt. Cool. 
And Rob's construction's going up and up and up. Where are they all going? I think it might benefit me if I put some temporary stairs here uh, just to be able to exploit these resources and then break the stairs down once uh, we're ready. Oh, but here we go. Uh, regional influence. Flourishing Yodaville grows more influential in the region with each day that passes. This is sure to attract more settlers and perhaps garner unwanted attention from other settlements. Pew, pew. So if we take a look at our history logs, uh, that's not where the history logs are. The history logs and go to influence. Yes, we are becoming more influential. And uh, that's basically drawing attackers to us. More or less. Bring it. How am I influential? I never get out. Uh, word of mouth from the zero survivors that I've let go free. I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Oh, here we go. Salvation. Whether it was the third coming. Oh, it's the third coming again. Uh, seeking a poor sinner to make an example of or other zealots wasn't clear. Snelling raved about religion. Torture escape the details were confused would you give them refuge they are a tailor they are they are oh they have really good traits they're 54 years old they're a deadly blacksmith um they are actually very 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 skilled at blacksmithing too i'm just gonna admit them because like you're just gonna vote yes uh but with that said uh admitting them draws some fierce third coming pillagers to me so here's Snelling with a whipped back yet again. Uh, he is a good marksman, so I'm going to need to make a bow. He likes mining and he likes tailoring, so all amazing. And he is en route to me. I don't have enough beds and winter is approaching. Thanks, John Snow. All right, make a temporary bed. So we'll tend to him and in a day 16... We'll raffle him off. Yes. Yeah, Snelling Bonal. <laughs> Why? All right. Well, at least I can name you unnamed Bonal. All right. Unnamed Bonal. Uh, six minutes. I'm going to raffle him off. So while that waits, we, while you wait for that, I should say. Um, let me go ahead and crank out a crafting room here. Um. It's not going to be a perfect square or anything like that. Uh, intentionally. I feel like, um, every building being like a perfect little square, uh, diminishes you know, the sort of uniqueness. So it's going to be this weird sort of thing here. But it's going to be a big crafting room. The reason being is there's a lot of crafting stations to build. And we're going to do, actually, let me sh narrow it one by one. There. So, a big crafting lodge. Let's add some windows. To the front of the building. There we go. Uh, four minutes for Mr. Snell here. The unnamed Snell. So he is benevolent, which is, uh, he makes everyone feel better. He's cold resistant and he's precious. It's important to keep him comfortable. Oh, he's precious. 
All right, we are definitely going to want to cut down some of these farmed trees because I'm uh, building a significantly large crafting room. So I'll cue that up. And I'm going to get rid of this uh, stone basin because it's in my way now. All right, the other thing I'm going to want is a wood floor everywhere in here. That will stop items from decaying because they've been decaying since forever. And in three minutes, we'll do the raffle for uh, Mr. Bonal. I have a lot of crafting productions to uh, to queue up. And then the other thing I want to do is uh, get rid of the beds that are in the library and have that be a dedicated library. So I'm thinking, and here's the poll. I'm going to pull you all real quick. Where should I build beds? Above the crafting area in a stand alone structure uh, adjacent to the kitchen underground somewhere um, or yeah those four Oh, I picked a very bad place for windows. There. So there's the support beams and all that. Ooh, we're back in a green mood. I like that. Uh, Marauder. I need you to cut down some trees. In fact, uh, cut down all these trees. Here's something funny. See these birch trees? These spilled over as a result of the farmed birch. They, um, you know, sort of spread, I guess. So it would be, uh, how many iron ingots do I have? This would be kind of nice. Uh, the raffles now, but I'm going to give you all a second to type something if you haven't typed or voted. If you voted already, then you're set. And I'll do it in just a second. All right, with the enemies approaching in 19 hours, uh, what I'm going to do is get rid of all these extra um, ladders, stairs, whatever they are. It will make traversing the map... Uh, way harder. Purposefully. Forgotten Hobo, thanks for the sub. And here we go. The raffle. Uh, where's my raffle? The raffle goes out to McCump. All right, McCump. I'm going to name this guy McCump Bonal. Oh, boy. Uh, but if you want to change his name to something other than McCump Bonal... It's supposed to be a family-friendly channel. 
Uh, uh, yeah, feel free to change your name from McHump Bonal to <laughs> something else. <laughs> Buddy. Don't change your name. <laughs> Just don't. Yep, well... <clears throat> All right, so there we go. We have a reinforced door. We don't have the full wall, which is kind of a problem. <laughs> a bit red in the face there. Eh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Another thing I probably ought to do is to uh, expand the farm. Uh, McHump, are you... Okay, hold on. You're running around with flimsy shackles as well. Let's take those off of you. Um, yeah, let's expand the farm as well because, of course, we have more people to feed. So, some carrots. And beets. And, uh... Uh, currants. Okay, so here is the stonemason's bench that I broke, but now rebuild. I actually don't need to destroy that ladder. That's fine. McHump, you're probably a little cold, buddy. But, you know, we'll, we're working on a crafting room, I promise. Oh, uh, speaking of crafting, speaking of crafting, uh, let's go ahead and plant some flax as well. So flax turns into linen for clothing. Oh, that is apparently not appropriate um, terrain, so let me try somewhere else. Flax gonna give it to you. Oh, McHump Bonal. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna dismantle forever items that are flimsy or just sturdy. The lowest two, and anything that is not 100%, meaning that it's something that I had... Uh, not crafted myself. Ooh, wounds need detending. Uh, Marauder, you want to tend to him, right? You want to pra practice your uh, medicine? Crafting room's coming together. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, our front uh, brick... Uh, has not, uh, come together. Uh, what do I have, 10 hours? Let's go ahead and do super craft. Basically, force craft everybody. There we go. Spraxis is, is on all in the case, making the material that we need. We are almost done flooring all this up. And then I could put a big old roof on it and call it good. Okay. I'm also going to cancel the mining here. Uh, we'll just mine from... Eh, I'm just not going to mine this area. Yep, turn around. Because it's too much running. What are you running to? Yeah, okay. And now you turned around? That's cute. Okay, so this facility here is ready for a roof. Let's get thatching. And it looks to me like uh, underground somewhere. So, next project, entrance gate and underground... I'll just, uh, I'll, underground is the only thing that fits. Uh, my, my goals are up in the top middle, if you're wondering. I'm sure you probably already noticed, but... Figured I'd mention. Okay, so how is my... Ooh. Oh, we're not quite done. Uh, well. That sucks. Sparaxis. Keep building. I'm going to wake them up 
they're going to be a little pissy, but um, I want to get done. Do one more production. Oh, I guess there's no more stone. Uh, Rob, all I need you to do is build this. This one thing here stops them from walking in. Uh, it, they, it does mean that they might get... It's not ideal. But it's a it's something. There. So now now they can't just trape straight into the base. They have to they have to at least break this door down or something. It's not perfect. But yeah, we do we do have a reinforced door here. Thou shall not pass. I wonder if it's it's 40 degrees out. How cold is it down here? 38? Dang, that is not that much better. Shakes fist at anger. Rob, you can go back to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, if I had these three, it'd be so much better. All right. Violent extortionists. The zealots demanded that I relinquish McHump immediately. Mm -mm, he's my McHump Bono. Uh, to be burned at the stake or flayed alive. No, uh, you know, screw you hippies. Okay, we have uh, six enemies appear. Wow, they appeared on like a random mountain corner. It's going to be a bit before they even show up. But uh, also to note, they're armored better than we've seen. Um, and then also they are numerous. Uh, I think you all could probably count to six. So never mind. I'm sure you noticed. Unfortunately for me, I don't have... I only have two bows, so this is going to be a strange fight. Hey, McCump, is there a weapon that you can grab? Or alternatively... Oh, they started their attack. Okay, never mind, never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draft. Marauder, you're most important with that big old bow of yours. You got to be cutting them. I bet they're kind of come through this wooden door. So I'm going to stack up on the wooden door. Get up. But Ares and Rob are really good brawlers. Calling the brawlers. Melee. Whatever they call them here. Uh, McHump. Just stand on there and sh just moon them. Yeah, there. Good. Perfect. There. Uh, just moon them a little better. Uh, which way are they coming? Where are they? Oh, also, uh, do I have staircases? No, I don't have any staircases into my base, so they have to come the front gate. Uh, looks to me like they're coming that direction, so McHump, moon them this way. There we go. Perfect. They are running the length of Fish Hill. Um, I could get closer. Here, let me go over here and here. Shoot the baby. Ooh, you got it. What is the wolf want a piece? Oh, they're going to ruin my... Um, so this is what I was saying really, really, really early on the stream. Anything that an attacker can get their hands on, they will destroy. So anything not behind walls... Um, yeah, this this pyre here is going to get trashed by Alfred. Oh, they're going for the reinforced door. Idiots. Idiots. Oh, no, not blah, 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 wolf, whatever your name is. Baldy wolf. All right, let's stand closer. If only I had hot oil to drop on their faces. <laughs> Bitty Rourke, you're dead.
Right, let's kill Alfred. This door is definitely going to break. I don't see that this holds up. It's down to 50. But the reinforced door is going to stick around. It's just the... I don't think that this is going to be much of a problem because I have so many people waiting to uh, murder. And there goes another one. David, meet your Goliath. Oh, and Jonathan. I like your waddle. You look constipated. I can fix that. Death. You're no longer constipated. Oh, he got through. And... Boom! They destroyed the pyre and the wooden door. Yeah, I kind of knew that. I like how McHump just waved. Did you see that? He legitimately just was like, Bye-bye! <laughs> what a troll. I love it. Uh... You're okay. McHump is a good brawler, but his he is also pretty good marksman. So I'm gonna have him be our marksman. You've been watching Going Medieval, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of Going Medieval or any of the other games I play, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.